Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium. Well, this evening I thought I'd talk about something that sort of interested me for a long time. It's in and out of all the books I've written, not all of them, but a bunch of them. And it has to do with uh, the subconscious and thoughts are powerful things. And um, if you tell yourself <clears throat> over and over again, now that's sort of the key to it. It can't come from somebody else. Somebody else telling you to do something is not listened to by your subconscious. It listens to you. Go figure. But if you say to yourself over and over again, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that, then it Eventually, it imprints itself on your subconscious, and that becomes a blueprint for everything that you're going to do. See if I can say that in a different way. But um, everybody has always noticed that I repeat myself in a lot of areas. And it's sort of something that got started when I was real young. That I, I understood this concept without really knowing what it was. If I would say something over and over again, you know, uh, I'm going to go to college, I'm going to do this, I'm going to graduate, I'm going to get that job, I'm going to, and I would say it over and over and over again to anybody. Then eventually, and just saying it to yourself, you don't have to say it to other people. Uh, your subconscious is imprinted with that thought, and thoughts are, you can't see the damn things, but... They're extremely powerful, and they become the soundtrack for whatever it is you're doing in your life. It's the blueprint. It's, it's what everything's based on. And um, it's based on the power of intention. Whatever you intend to do, now you can't just kind of halfway believe it. <clears throat> Something you have to believe in. And um, healers all over the country, I'm, I'm doing healing stuff now, but they understand that you can't heal someone who doesn't want to be healed or who disbelieves. I mean, to a certain extent, you can heal someone whether they like it or not. But true uh, results come when they believe that whatever it is you're doing will work. And there's a whole group of scientists out there running around with their noses to the ground that'll say that that's placebo effect. <laughs> Do I care? <laughs> if it gets the job done, if you tell someone that their back doesn't hurt anymore and they believe you and it stops hurting, do you care how you got there? Plus, I think, I think there's some truth to that, but it's not all about the placebo effect because you can find people who say, well, I'm going to let you do it, but I don't think, I'm not expecting anything, and then something big happens, and they go, okay, well, this is, this is earth-shattering for me. But there's a certain amount of placebo effect going on. Unintended, I'm sure. Thoughts are real things. Thoughts and feelings, how you feel about things, are real. You, you can't hold it in your hand. You, you can't buy a hot dog at a ball game, but they're real. Um, look at it this way. Um, if you keep saying the same thing over and over again, you usually end up in the place you're looking for. I want to do this, I want to do that. Then you end up in that place because you've set the program for who you are. Look at it as a, a mission statement. And you can look all over my website, there's no, there's no mission statement there. I don't have that. I don't know why I never have put one on there. I figure people know what I'm doing or they shouldn't be talking to me. It says right on there. <laughs> And there are people who 
So I find that funny that they'll hire me as a psychic medium and they want to tell them something. I said, well, how do you know that? And you shouldn't be knowing that. I said, did you look at the top of the site when you called me? It says I know all that stuff. Why would you think I wouldn't know it? They assumed I didn't know it, but I did. Focusing your energy and thoughts and beliefs. And, um, you know, this works just as well in reverse. Someone who believes they're a loser because their parents told them they were losers and all their friends told them they were losers. You get used to being called a loser. Pretty soon you're telling yourself you're a loser. And next thing you know, you're homeless. Oh, how did I get here? Because you let thoughts get you there. You ended up where you really wanted to go. Someone calls you a loser and you believe it, shame on you. You, know, it's, you, can't, you can't blame other people for doing that because people there are just people that are nasty. They don't want to see anybody do anything that they can't do. So they, and like I was told when I started doing this, that I wouldn't do that if I were you. I said, yeah, but you're not me. Other people's thoughts to you should not be real. You should imprint your thoughts and your feelings on you. And you say them over and over and over again. They imprint themselves on the subconscious, thus becoming the blueprint for everything that happens to you. Believe in yourself. That's a thought that if you don't have it, you're not going anywhere. You don't have hope and faith in what you're doing, then life's going to be hard. So the power of intention, I intend to do this. I intend to do that. I'll give you an example. Uh, most of you know, I've been watching the healing stuff. Um, I watched a movie and it triggered my hands and they now, they now heat up. And then I started doing something with it. And um, because I... My thought was that this is something I should investigate. I'm not going to make a living as a healer, but it's something I should investigate. Since my hands are heating up, that opened the door. My thoughts are as valid. And, and, and I've learned a lot of stuff by watching other people's videos and listening to their crap. Everybody wants their own system. I've created my own system of healing. Everybody wants their own system of healing. Why? Because it gives them power and they can teach it to someone else and they can make more money. I think most of the world is full of natural healers. That they may take a program. Uh, I'm not going to name any of those names, but they may take a, a program, but they always well, kind of were a healer. Um, I think that's true of anything in life. You pick something, it resonates with you, but you have you have a certain innate ability, someone just said that, um, which attracts you to it. You may not even know you've got it, but I've heard all these years, 15 years, you're a healer, and, and people would come to the fairs and sit next to me saying, I feel good when I sit here, and I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't get it. I just thought they were being nutty. Turns out that's kind of true. I didn't stop from doing that. I thought anything that makes you feel good, not for that. But most healers are, they don't, they don't need a lot of education. It does just kind of come out of you. Following the intention to help someone is how that works. You intend to make that person better and all of your energy follows that intention. What else is there to learn? Do you need a class on building a fire? You stack up some lumber, you strike a match, you got a fire. You can take classes on it. I know because um, I was a kid once and someone said, hey, why don't you come to our Boy Scout meeting? And I did and I walked out after about 30 minutes because they were showing them how to light a fire. And they said, where are you going? I said, I did this when I was, you know, eight, nine years old. I was camping in the woods. I 
I don't need instruction on how to build fire. So if you think you may have feeling, uh, healing abilities, why not pursue it? If not for other people, for you, self-healing. There's a lot of that's going on. Power of intention. Thoughts are real. Program yourself to succeed and you will. Sound like I'm a speechwriter now. One of those guys, rah-rah uh, uh, guys that gets up in the meeting and says, we, we can do it, guys. And thoughts are real. You're real. You can program yourself to be successful or you can program your downfall. See negativism everywhere. And that's what you got. That's where you go. As soon as you stop seeing something positive in it, even bad things, it's a certain amount of positiveness and, and terrible things. You gotta look you gotta look for the I love it. Someone's playing a song, look on the sunny side of life. Yeah. Um, because thinking about the bad side of life ends up getting you depressed, makes you ill, you don't have any friends, uh, and you're not going anywhere. Look at positive stuff and everything, and you can find it. Then that paints your life in a different fashion. Your thoughts, your positive thoughts can create a positive you. Following the intention of helping other people be a healer, following the intention of being a successful person, you can do that. Following the, the, the map of I'll be a good husband or I'll be a good wife, whatever that entails, you can do it. Want to be a horrible person? Good luck with that. And work too well for a lot of people I know. For some people, you just can't please. Power of intention. Think about it a little bit. Maybe if your life isn't going right, you can change it by repeating the same thing over and over again. That's programming you with a roadmap to get to where you really want to go. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.